I gotta say, this segment alone is worth getting up for. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. It is time to take a look at some of the week's best videos that we've been collecting over the past week in a segment we call Hey, Watch This. Why don't I uh, kick us off? Okay, go ahead. All right, let's do this. Not all heroes wear capes, of course. <laughs> a beer company believes one fan may have single-handedly turned the tide of the World Series with a gutsy move. Watch this. Did you see this home run? Jeff Adams held onto both, both of his Bud Lights right there. Boom! While blocking a World Series home run with his chest and then coming away with the ball. Well, the brewer of Bud Light believed in him so much that he's the first ever Bud Light fan to be featured in not one but two nationally televised commercials congratulating Jeff and all Nats fans. After the viral video uh, just went viral across the country, Bud Light tried to locate him. So they sent Jeff and found him and sent him to the end of the World Series in Houston, wearing a shirt that says, always save the beers, which he did. Do you think he would have been as happy if he did that and he wasn't the one that got the baseball? Mm, no, I don't think so. Yeah. The ball is just, it's priceless. It's and priceless. And the funny thing, if he lifts the shirt, it'd be just as blue as the shirt underneath it. <laughs> Boom! And Bud Light said it's worth about $8 million, that uh, exposure. How about wow, that? fantastic. Exposure, hello. A selfless act by a young boy in Maryland is touching the hearts of everyone who has seen it thus far. He wanted to make sure everyone got enough candy on Halloween. <laughs> So look at that. He's dressed as a vampire, walks up to the house, find out there's no more candy in the bowl. So he says, you know what? Got some in my bag. How about if I put it in there so that the trick-or-treaters after him would not be disappointed? Along with the video, Hodges posted the caption, this has got to give hope to everyone hmm. that there are still some amazing people in the world. That's interesting, though. There's a little discussion in the newsroom whether or not that that was set up. Eh. <laughs> It was fodder for our show, so that's all we care about. It filled 25 seconds. That's really all that matters. Dick's talk. Is it almost 8 o'clock? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, listen, a new twist to a classic story. It's a tale as old as time featuring a toddler and her four-legged beast. Rising in the east, <laughs> chaos oh. as old as <laughs> This melts my heart. Kaylee Slobotsky recently posted this video on Facebook. That is her beautiful daughter, Emily, dancing with their lovable dog, Rudy, to the Disney classic, Beauty and the Beast. Kaylee said they have watched this movie too many times to count, just over and over and over. How about that? That's like us at the Christmas party, me giving up and walking away. Now, 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 did the dog have the Beast costume on, or is that the T-shirt from the Bud Light guy? It looked kind of similar, didn't it? <laughs> Rudy's like, can we watch 101 Dalmatians? <laughs> I'm done with this Beauty and the Beast. Hey, speaking of 101 Dalmatians, you think maybe? Goldie? Oh. It is time for this morning's Pause for Pets from the Richmond SPCA. Meet Crescent. Look at this sweet girl. She is about eight years old, looking for a very nice family to adopt her. She enjoys being around her friends, giving kisses, and going for long walks on nice days. Though she enjoys the company of other dogs, she would do best in a home without cats. You can visit her today at the Richmond SPCA. Their number is on your screen. And we, of course, have more adoptable pets on our website, WTVR.com.